Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical uh, circles uh, fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, these uh, yellow circles uh, are uh, tangent to each other. And furthermore, the side length uh, of this uh, right triangle AB is uh, 28 uh, units whereas uh, this side length uh, BC is uh, 21. And now our task is to calculate uh, this uh, radius uh, lowercase uh, r. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 28 uh, and uh, 21. And now we want to figure out uh, it's uh, this uh, longest leg uh, AC. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call uh, our longest leg as side c. I'm going to call uh, this side a and this uh, side uh, lowercase uh, b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So a in our case is 28 uh, whole uh, square plus b is uh, 21 uh, square. And we want to figure out uh, side uh, c so therefore we can write uh, c square equals to if we add these number we are going to get uh, 12 uh, 25 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides this square and square root is gone so our c length turns out to be positive uh, 35 so thus our this uh, length uh, a c turns out to be 35 units and now let me show you the alternative approach. Instead of using the Pythagorean theorem, we could have used uh, Pythagorean uh, triplets, uh, 3, 4, and uh, 5. Let's multiply each number by 7. 3 times uh, 7 is going to give us uh, 21. 4 times 7 is going to give us uh, 28. Uh, and uh, 5 times 7 is going to give us 35. So no wonder our missing side uh, turns out to be 35 uh, units. And here's our next step. Let's uh, focus uh, on this uh, circle. We know that all these uh, circles are identical. So we are going to zero in uh, on this uh, specific circle. Let's assume the center of this uh, circle is uh, O. And now let's go ahead and connect uh, this center O with all these vertices A b and uh, c as you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we are ended up with the three triangles this uh, triangle a b o this uh, triangle uh, a c o and this uh, triangle uh, b c o and here's our next step let's go ahead and make an observation we can see that the area of this uh, bigger triangle uh, a b c is going to be equal to the area of this uh, triangle a b o plus the area of this uh, another uh, triangle uh, a c o plus the area of this uh, triangle uh, b c o as you can see in this uh, given equation and now our task is going to be find the area of this uh, triangle a b c area of the triangle uh, a b o area of the triangle uh, ACO and finally area of the triangle uh, BCO and here's our next step let me go ahead and call this uh, point of tangency I'm going to call uh, this point uh, D I'm going to call this point of tangency E and this uh, point of tangency I'm going to call uh, F and now we are going to connect uh, this uh, center row with these uh, points of tangency D E and uh, F as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be exactly 90 degrees, as you can see in this given diagram. So no wonder all these angles are going to be 90 degrees each. And now let's make another observation. We can see that this uh, vertical uh, OD is going to be the height of this uh, triangle uh, ABO and this uh, vertical uh, OE is going to be the height uh, of this another triangle uh, ACO and finally this uh, OF uh, is going to be the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, BCO 
and we know that this OD is the radius of this circle. Let me call uh, lowercase r. Likewise, uh, this OE is the radius of this circle as well. I'm going to call this uh, lowercase r uh, as well. And let's focus on this uh, another. This is our radius r. And this is our radius r. This is our radius r. This is our radius r. And this finally our radius r as well. So therefore, the total length uh, of this uh, OF uh, is going to be R plus R plus R plus R and finally plus R. That is going to give us uh, 5 uh, times R. So thus our heights uh, turn out to be R, R and uh, 5 R. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, bigger uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times a base uh, times height. And in our case, our base is uh, 28 and our height of this triangle is uh, 21. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half times our base is uh, 28 times our height is uh, 21 and if we simplify the right hand side uh, our area for this triangle ABC turns out to be 294 and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, another triangle uh, ABO and we can see that the base uh, of this uh, triangle ABO is uh, 28 and the height is lowercase uh, r so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula once again. So that's going to be a half times our base is 28 and our height is lowercase r. And if we simplify, this is going to give us 14 r. And here's our next step. Uh, let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, another uh, triangle uh, ACO whose uh, base is uh, 35 and whose height is uh, lowercase r and once again we are going to fill out uh, this uh, formula so this is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 2 times our base is uh, 35 times our radius is uh, lowercase r and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us 17.5 uh, times r and here in this next step, let's go ahead and calculate the area of this another triangle uh, BCO whose uh, base uh, is uh, 21 and whose height is uh, 5R. So let's go ahead and uh, fill out uh, this uh, formula once again. Our area of this triangle uh, BCO is going to be a half times our base is uh, 21 and our height uh, this time is uh, 5 times uh, r and let's go ahead and simplify the right hand uh, side that is going to give us uh, 52.5 uh, times uh, r and now let's recall this uh, equation uh, once again we already figured out uh, the areas uh, of all uh, these uh, individual uh, triangles so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks all these areas in this uh, equation the area of triangle abc is uh, 294 equal to the area of this triangle ABO is uh, 14 R plus the area of triangle ACO is uh, 17.5 R and plus finally the area of this triangle BCO is uh, 52.5 times R and if we combine all these uh, like terms that is going to give us uh, 84 times r so therefore this equation could be written as 84 times r equals to 294 now let's go ahead and divide both sides uh, by 84 to isolate uh, r so this is gone so our radius r turns out to be 3.5 units so thus the radius of these uh, identical uh, circle uh, turns out to be 3.5 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.